You know, it's been said that children grow up with the desire to either be like their father or to be nothing like them. Let's get into this video. Cartel got me working for the big faces. Federally got my car full of brick cases. Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking. I was picked to my back for my shoelaces. Got out, should've seen the look on they faces. All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper. Set up by the crew, they done put a banger. In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there. No thing, then attorney went and beat the case. Got a job digging holes for minimum wage. Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me. Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing. Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling, six times failing. I went back to prison, got my head right, got my bread right. Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe. Trying to do right, I got a mission. Trying to get back to my boys in the prison. The old me's gone, I ain't never. What's up guys, my name is JC, I am Wrong Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my team, mi familia, mi raza, you already know what time it is. Suente la suburba, cause we about to go see Jesus. What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Wrong Strong. Your host here, JC, man, all in his name, all in his glory. We love you, Jesus. <laughs> To be a father is a big job, a big responsibility. How can I be a father if I don't know how? My father was not around. Let me let you in on a little secret. <laughs> the Bible has a lot to say on this matter. All you have to do is read. How God interacts with us through scripture. God is a, is a communicator. God spoke and the universe came into existence. Conversations with mankind, Adam, angels, in dreams, prophets, and later in scripture for us. God also spoke through his son and the Holy Spirit. If we are to father like the father, then we must communicate frequently with our kids. God is a provider. The very act of creation is provision. Through creation, God established the environment that his children will live in. He provides his children with their physical needs, everything. We must pursue our children. We can't always wait for our children to come in a spirit of repentance. Our job would be too easy. <laughs> Sometimes they will hide because they know they have done wrong or they just get older. Well, they think they don't need to hide from you no more. <laughs> As our children grow, whether they realize it or not, they still need your guidance. Discipline. Hmm. That's, a, that's a tough word, but the English word for discipline comes from the Latin word Discipulo or disciples, a student. Effective discipline is not just about punishment and stopping bad behavior, but it's also about developing good behavior and disciples need teachers. To be a father like God, our discipline must be about discipleship. When God disciplined Adam and Eve, there was pain, but the pain had a purpose. It reminded them of their need to rely on God and trust his word. God's discipline enhanced their relationship. Our discipline must be about discipleship. Compassion. The balance between justice and mercy can be difficult for us to follow. Lean hard on the justice and we run them like a gang with an iron fist. As soon as they break free from our control, they will rebel. And if you lean too far on the side of mercy, our kids go wild and unruly. We must have both.
I'm not going to give up on you. I made these for you. Compassion. Setting boundaries. God loved Adam. Gave him everything. A job, food, safety, and of course Eve. So, cherry on top. <laughs> Yet in the midst of all of that giving, God set boundaries. The boundaries were set to protect Adam. We must be willing to set clear boundaries with our children and with clear penalties. I mean, how many of us have made promises to our kids and we forget? I mean, my dad, his whole life said, hey, I'll be there to pick you up on Saturday. I'm still waiting to this day. <laughs> you know, but God makes promises too, yet he doesn't forget. His word can be counted on. He is trustworthy to the core. We must be promise keepers at work and at home. Most of us only do work. We make sure we get, we do everything we have to do at work, but then we come home tired and we don't pay attention to our families and we don't keep our promises about taking them out on Saturday. What was the last thing you said to your children today? Was it a commandment? Was it disapproval? Or was it a proclamation of your love and admiration to them? What if these were the last words that they ever heard from you? You know, um, I, I share all this stuff because I'm learning as I go too. And, <laughs> you know, I, I was asked a, a question the other day that why was I smiling when I was talking about uh, my molestation and my torture and all that stuff. And, you know, it got me a little upset, I'm not going to lie, but I had to really take a step back and kind of just let the Holy Spirit kind of answer that question because when I used to share my story before I was saved, I, I used to break down. I used to break down crying. Um, I couldn't even get through the whole thing without breaking down crying. I would start shaking. I would be afraid. I would feel like a little kid again. Like just, I wanted to roll up in a little ball and suck my thumb. Like that's, that's how I felt. Today, I, I smile and I talk about it because I don't feel that pain there no more. God removed all that from my heart. It's the real deal. It's the real deal. I wouldn't sell you nothing I don't believe in. God is real. Jesus died on the cross for you. Don't wait. So it's too late. Don't. Man. You guys. You can become a new creation today. Just make the decision. I love you guys. My name is JC. I am Wrong to Strong. Hey. Stay in your lane. Live savage. Don't judge nobody. And love Jesus. Catch you guys on the rebound.